All right, we have now chapter 116 of the One Punch Man original comic, part three of three of this exciting triple update, which has told us the full story of the mysterious ninja village. We are now moving into the climax. Lightspeed Flash going to meet with Speed and Sound Sonic for a long-awaited, much-fated duel, which Saitama Incidentally, is going to arrive at shortly, um, unbeknownst to Lightspeed Flash, they are surrounded by other members of the Ninja Village graduating classes who are prepared to attack him simultaneously and ensure his defeat, as well as the mysterious leader and founder of the Ninja School, who had in the past fought Blast. Uh, so someone that we have every reason to believe is genuinely quite strong. Sonic using his after-image techniques, the slicing wind kick thing that uh, we've seen quite a few ninjas do, um, someone in the comments, I'm sorry I forget who, uh, had a really nice breakdown of, of how this one technique has kind of been consistently used throughout the series. I like that sort of continuity. I like that they have kind of a signature move uh, that all the people from the, the ninja village can do. But it's not fast enough. <clears throat> what looked like Lightspeed Flash standing perfectly still was in fact an after image. And the fight begins. This is a pretty cool choreography. Some nice scenes. I wonder how much now, when one draws this stuff, he's thinking of Murata's art. Like, he's thinking about how will this, years and years down the line, eventually be drawn by Murata. What can I do to kind of come up with an exciting base material for him to work from. But at the same time, of course, he still really values the webcomic as an experience in and of itself. Like, the, it's not like he's slacking off and just turning this into a storyboard for the final version. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, like, kind of seeing one come into his own with these techniques, seeing the influence that Murata may have on him, and the improvement. But in the end, it's still quite MS Painty. He sends out a ton of shuriken, tosses them up in the air, and then using his little kunai knives, starts batting them at Lightspeed Flash at extremely high speed from dozens of different angles. Lightspeed Flash also equipping himself with the little kunai sword. And going into some super speed mode, where his hair flares up like a super saiyan. Shuriken going thrown from the blind spot, that's the real attack, isn't it? And this frontal assault is a distraction while the real threat will continue to circle around me for two more revolutions before starting scoring a direct hit. You're a little smarter than before. And he had done techniques like this to Saitama before. We know this is a big part of his repertoire. Misdirection attacks, true attacks from the back. This is a cool shot of them all flying in at, uh, at Flash here. Again, just like this dynamic paneling. It feels like, I mean, one had always been good at that. Even from the very, very start, even his most amateurish art. He had a really cool cinematic flair and, and choreography to these action scenes, but it's it's just getting better and better. He blocks them all, and just as the last one is coming in, totally disappears. Appearing as a blur again behind Sonic. Ooh, but Sonic is ready for it. Elbowing him in the gut. It's a, a pretty brutal and unsophisticated attack for such a, an elegant and technique-driven fight. But uh, it's effective nonetheless. Really rattling Lightspeed Flash here. The first time we've really seen him take a hit like this. <laughs> Given that Saitama couldn't in their short uh, training exercise. He's still thinking the same person from several years ago. The victory is mine, Flashy Flash. It's the two shadows burial. Two after images being switched between so rapidly that they both feel corporeal. It's attacking with both of them simultaneously. Nice moves, if only your opponent wasn't mean. Maintain his wavering posture and defend it against those effortless. So you don't count him out, man. Flashy Flash, real strong. Much stronger, I think, than his rank in S-Class indicates. Um, he definitely seems to have the sort of attitude problems that would keep his rank uh, disproportionately low. You know, like not taking on certain assignments, not... Uh, following orders and requests, not teaming up with people, and us getting in on big kills. He's a definitely, like, leave-it-all-to-me type of guy. Uh, definitely, uh, don't you have other 
lesser people who can deal with this type of guy. So who knows where he really ought to be? Perhaps in the top 10 of the S class? His ultimate technique coming out? A blur of, of hands and feet? Which is going to throw his two strength? But I have an ace up my sleeve. That is dozens and dozens of other ninjas waiting in the wings. Oh! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> the super secret technique was just kicking him in the face. And here, of course, I think of Kizaru in One Piece. The the golden pheasant? No, the golden monkey? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yellow monkey or whatever. He was warping around, kicking people at light speed. Speed is weight. I never thought I'd have to use my ultimate technique eventually. A kick! <laughs> Gotten strong. At your current level, you and I should be able to... Ooh. And here, sensing that Sonic had lost, the other members call the plan into effect. Dozens and dozens of ninjas suddenly appearing, a barrage of weapons flying down where Flash once stood. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? This is neither the time nor the place we agreed on for the lure. What was he doing? Oh! Oh, interesting. So this wasn't the bait fight. He just genuinely wanted to fight him on his own. We've seen your ninjutsu. Everyone here is a genius. We only need to see a technique once in order to be able to deal with it. Let's begin the execution of flashy fashion betrayer. What are you doing all of a sudden? Speed of sound. Ooh! Sonic betrays them and decides to ally with, with Lightspeed Flash. Okay, it's kind of cool. The two of them against the entire ninja world, including the elusive leader whom we haven't seen. It looks like it won't get resolved in this, this uh, chapter after all, but we're, we're setting ourselves up for a pretty exciting climax. And of course, at a leisurely place, uh, a certain hero is making his way to this location as well. I'd much rather deal with Flash myself instead of handing them to you guys. Just at the bar gym we were about to finish, your timing is horrible. Between me and him, you guys stay back. You rank on me because you're just seniors is also pretty annoying. Just go away. I think it's flashy kick. Every one of us here is an elite ninja, not to mention the difference in numbers. Assistance is futile. You should understand that. But he uses a super secret technique, not the two shadow funeral anymore. But ten shadows. Not bad. Ten copies. I can't believe you could ninja two like this. All back then, you might have been able to land a counterattack. Only alive because we got interrupted. These guys are annoying. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. So Saitama... <laughs> we, we're given every indication to think that Saitama is being taken to the same meeting place. That, that Sonic would use the same challenge call out address every time but no it's just the abandoned village uh, or the abandoned building that he lives in that we saw him living in when he was like eating the monster cells and stuff uh <laughs> so it's just like <laughs> so Saitama's involvement might be pretty minimal after all I'm not sure how he's supposed to get from here to whatever obscure forest these guys are fighting in now we still haven't seen the leader we're still not quite sure how these fights are going to go. It's quite exciting. And uh, now the biggest mystery too is, is when is our boy, Saitama, actually going to show up? All right. Nice. Great chapters. I don't know how long we're going to wait for another crazy update like that, but uh, uh, we're really getting into the thick of it with this new arc. So I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. Okay. That's all for now.